W1VLF. Here's a good question from Ken concerning the SDR Play Duo and SDR Uno's noise cancellation capabilities. Let's take a look at that. Hey everybody, my name is Paul W1VLF. Welcome back to the lab. We're, we're going handheld today here because we're going to do a video on the SDR Uno with, a, with the Duo receiver and we're going to answer Ken's question. Here's Ken's question. Ken, Ken's been a contributor, commenter, and viewer for a long time and he made a good point and I thought I'd try to um, uh, do a video explaining just about that. So let's go handheld here out the door. It's a nice bright winter day here in New England. And what we're going to do is we're going to compare one antenna with the noise that's being generated by this guy right here. I'm sure everybody's familiar with this company. This, uh, our pickup noise antenna is going to be this loop. Just a single turn of a small coax. It comes in on um, SMA cable. And I put it right here to sample the noise. Okay, what I want is a good quality noise. I don't want noise that's being picked up from the power lines. I don't want noise that's being picked up and put on the power lines by anything else in my house. I just want this noise here. So here's the inverter. I'll show you inside. Every 50 kilohertz, there's a big carrier, really strong, and that's our noise source antenna. The other thing is I don't want any signals being picked up by this. All I want is our noise source. Clean noise, or in previous video I referred to it as quality noise. Goes in through the window. Okay, let me take you downstairs and we'll, I'll show you uh, what the setup is going to be like. Okay, so here's the setup. We're going to have two sources of signal. One is going to be on frequency uh, 6140. And the other one is going to be an off-the-air station, which is uh, shortwave 6160. So here's the HF antenna coming in from the patch panel into the RSP Duo, channel 1. And here's the other antenna, which is going through the patch panel. And if you follow it, that's our noise pickup antenna. It goes out the window through this little cable and off to the the uh, inverter okay so that's the that's the setup for the off-air station I'm also going to be transmitting on 6140 with this generator with a very low signal out to what I what I call the beverage antenna out in the woods and that will put in a carrier so that we don't have to uh, deal with the fading in and out of, of the shortwave uh, station and you'll get a much better idea. So again, the RSP Duo, I don't know if you can see it with all this junk in the way. Okay, the RSP Duo is there. Channel one is the desired received signal. Channel two is the noise antenna. And again, purely noise. So let me, uh, let me, get you guys on the computer here and we'll go explore how well the noise can be canceled by using uh, one channel excuse me one receiver of the uh, SDR uh, duo for receive and one for noise I'll be right back I forgot to mention earlier that this radio is the source of the audio for our carrier that runs out to uh, out in the field and will give us the the channel the uh, stationary uh, or, or non varying signal that we're looking for so this is what I'm using to modulate it the generator can be modulated 
um, externally, and that's the source of our audio. Still doesn't uh, change anything as far as um, giving us a stable signal that we can work with. Okay, just wanted to mention that. Okay, we're over here at the uh, ham radio setup. And for the first part of this video, we're going to be uh, muted over here. But we're going to take a look at the antenna, the two different antenna, two different antennas, the normal antenna right here, which is, and here's our desired signal. I'll, I'll zoom in on it a little bit so you can see it. And then we're going to switch to tuner two, which has our noise antenna. Okay. Notice there's no 6140. Let me, let me, let me round this up to 6140 because that's where it is. There's no noise, I mean, there's no uh, desired signal. Go back up here. There's 6140. That's our desired. All this crap down here is undesired. And let me, if I shrink it up a little bit, you can see every 50 kilohertz. This one's at 6,000. This one's at 6050. This one's at 6100. This is all noise being generated in the um, inverter out there. And that's why my antenna, my noise antenna is close. Okay, um, this signal right here is 6160, and that's our brother Stair doing his uh, daily posthumous uh, shortwave broadcast. I'm going to turn this this uh, the audio on so you can hear it. So again, there's 61 6160, and we'll go back to the noise antenna real quick. Okay, no 6160, no 6140 in sight. No other noise, actually, either. This is just noise that I want to cancel. And that's why my antenna, my pickup is so close to the, um, the, the inverter itself, because that's where the noise is being generated. So here we are. Here's our, here's Brother Stair. Let's turn him on and see what he sounds like in the single antenna, uh, and this being the receive antenna. His pretty strong right now but a lot of times he falls down into the noise and it makes it really difficult because he's actually fading into the noise you know that's well below this uh, so that's why I put up this other carrier which is being modulated by that FM radio over there so let's turn this on and take a listen and there he is there's our buddy okay and you can hear he's sitting right in the middle of this noise floor this 50 kilohertz wide packet of noise so let's go to let's go to diversity. We'll unlock these. Swing these around. Okay. So there's. Let me bring it to the center of the screen. You can still see 50 kilohertz, 50 kilohertz, 50 kilohertz, 50 kilohertz. If I go auto apply. I think it's going to try to add the noises together, the, the signals together. So let's take auto apply off and let's adjust this on, on our own here. So there's one, there's a null in in one, either phase or amplitude. Now I'm going to go just to amplitude, see if I can clean it up a little better. Okay, you can see if I bring in too much noise, look what happens to the, to the signal. If I bring in just the right amount, it's, it's better. If I don't, if I narrow it, I mean, if I lower it even more, it's not right. The noise comes up again. So we're looking for that perfect match of phase inversion and amplitude equality. Okay, so now I've made two adjustments. Let me uh, go back to phase again. Phase is off. Phase is off in this direction. Okay, so there's Brother Stair. He's up, he's, he's, you know, coming through pretty well. The noise isn't completely canceled, but it's pretty good. I'm going to switch back to single antenna and see what he sounds like. Okay. So we'll do that again. We'll go back into the uh, diversity mode here. And I don't exactly know why we have to readjust things, but I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm not. It works so well, it doesn't bother me too well. Uh. So let's do some phase. There we go. Lock the phase. 
Too much? Just about right? Not enough noise. Just about right? Let's lock that one and go back and do phase again. Okay, oh, that's wrong direction with phase. Wrong direction with phase. Okay, lock that and we'll go back and play with the amplitude again. Too much? Not enough. Right about there is, is perfect. Okay, so that is about a hundred times easier to listen to than... To me, that noise would drive me nuts after a while. So let's go to 6140 real quick. And we're going to zoom in. You can see, right? That's There's Brother Stare. He's actually stronger than than my uh, my steady signal. All right, let's go let's go here real quick. Okay, just the noise on the noise antenna, which is uh, tuner two. Signal plus noise on signal. Oh, there goes a rig, uh, beacon sounder. Signal plus noise on the real antenna. And let's go and go to diversity. Bring that into the middle. Again, you can see the noise piles here. Unlock both of these. Let's go searching around. Oop, not that way. So let's just lock phase for a second. Okay, good. Pretty impressive, uh, I would say. Now, what I'm going to do with my uh, attenuator up above is I'm going to turn the noise down a little bit. I'm going to turn the noise coming into the two tuners or to the one tuner down by 10 or 20 dB and see what happens. Okay? The noise is not amplitude, equal in amplitude until I switch it back again. Well, let's take a quick, a quick look at this guy with the single antenna. I'm Jim Chesco with your money now. Okay. So Ken, I hope this helps out with your question. Um, I, I apologize, I haven't gotten back to your email, but I've been really, really busy here. Wait a minute, you, you guys don't want to hear that. Let's do this quickly. Mortgage rates have been higher for four straight weeks with the 30-year fixed rate mortgage averaging 6.65% as of last Thursday. The CEO of brokerage Redfin says he's never seen home buyers more rate sensitive. So, there it is, one more time. The company. Yingling first opened the doors of its Pennsylvania okay. brewery in the 1840s. You can see the noise is Today, still there a little here, but not real bad. Yingling beer this morning, available on store shelves in the And here we go, I'm going to switch it back, and then I'm going to sign out. So there you go. Thanks, Ken, for bringing up the question, and I'll, I'll be emailing you uh, as soon as I can here. 73, everybody. This is W1VLF signing out.